Hello YouTube, I am Akshay Chauhan and in this video we are going to learn how to do SQL injection on DVWA. So first login into your DVWA admin and password is password. We will set the security level to low. Mine is low already. Now we will go to SQL injection. Here we will put any user ID like say one. Now ID one is admin and admin. So now we will check that uh, check for exception handling validation. To do that we have to put here here it is question mark ID is equal to one. We have to put a single quote after one like this. If this shows error that means this side is vulnerable else not. Let's check it. Yeah, it is showing error. See, he, it is saying you have an error in SQL syntax. So we will go back. Now we will check and count the total numbers of column in this table. So what we have to do, we will type ID is equal to one, then dash, I mean single quote, then order by one and then minus minus plus there is no error means there is one column now we will type 2 1 comma 2 there also no error so means two columns now we will type 3 here is an error unknown column 3 in order clause this means that this table has only two columns so we will delete number three yeah now we will extract the DDL for the custom query execution so to do to, so now we will use union here like this union select one comma two here here in place of 1 and 2 we will see the extracted data so first we will check the database name and database version so to do that in place of 1 here we will type database brackets data base and brackets and in place of 2 we will type version and brackets now let's see what happens here we can see that the name of the database is DVWA and this is a version and version of database so now we will get the entire table entire tables from the database so to do that we will use the following command instead of database we will write one and here we will write table name from information schema dot tables so we are asking information schema that please give us the name of tables so what is schema it holds the responsibility to maintain an index of all the tables and columns in the database let's see what happens now see here is a list of all the tables guest book users all plugins and there's a huge list so we will only look in the tables like guest book no we do not need it yeah there might be something useful in table called users so now we found our target table that is users so now we will get the columns from the user tables to do that here we will replace this string with column name from information underscore schema dot columns see now where this is important where table underscore name is equal to now we want to extract the data from the column uh, from the table name users but 
we cannot directly type users there so what we have to do we have to convert the users into decimal values to do that I will go to this link and convert it all links and all the commands I am using are in description you can check out from there so now I will convert the word user into decimals yeah, I will type users so this now here I will type care and I will paste it and put commas in between them so now let's see what happens see we get different columns from the table called users that is user ID first name last name user password avatar etc etc so now we will get user and password from users so to do that we will replace this whole line with or this even this select user comma password C this user and this password from users users is the name of table let's see what happens here we got nice information like this is username and this is password this is username and this is password this is username this is password these are not the actual passwords they are hashes md5 hashes so we have to decrypt them so to decrypt them let's take this as example we will not decrypt it I will use this site to decrypt it let's copy this hash paste it here oh, so now let's decrypt it here we found that the password is password so this is the user ID and this is password that's all about SQL injection there are many tools uh, which will help in speeding up this process I will definitely make a tutorial later on thanks for watching like share comment and subscribe thank you